In today's video, we're going to test out if the type of gas used in a sports ball influences its performance. Hey guys, before jumping into the video, we wanted to let you know the whole shop is 25% off. Go ahead and click the link in the description to check it out and get yourself some TKOR gear. Soccer or football, if you're pretty much everywhere else in yeah. the world. We um, admit, we are the weird ones here, we get that. That's fine. Um, <laughs> but the point is, this is the ball that you use for it. Uh, this appears to be a standard size five. And we want to test out something that's made us curious for a while. Here's the basic idea. We've got three soccer or footballs, and we're going to try filling all three of them. One with normal air, one with lighter than air helium, and one with heavier than air sulfur hexafluoride. We'll test if we can tell the difference and if one kicks farther than the rest. This particular ball is full of air from a regular bike pump. It's filled up to about 12 PSI, but we've also got helium in a tank and sulfur hexafluoride in a tank. And while we don't have any official equipment for filling a sports ball with those, we're just gonna try and make it work using some hoses and some tape. And since we're only trying to get up to about 12 PSI, I think it'll work out. A single soccer ball like this is not gonna hold a ton of volume, and so the change in density of the gas may not affect it too much, but that's what we wanna test. Is filled, it really gonna change things? And can we tell the difference in a blind test? Yeah, filled to about the same PSI, will we get any advantage or disadvantage from the different types of gas? The hose on one of our bike pumps just unscrewed here at the bottom, and then we just had a hose, and it fit fairly nicely onto the sort of nipple that was on the front of this helium tank. So I put that on, wrapped a couple layers of electric tape around it, and then used this stronger T-Rex tape to hold it in place. I don't know that it's going to hold it perfectly, but we're dealing with fairly low pressures here, so if it doesn't hold it perfectly, it's not the end of the world. H. Oh yeah, that looks good. That looks really good, perfect. Oh, yeah. I like it. Okay. Just making sure it's good helium. It, it's good. This is not an official way to connect these parts. I don't know what you're talking about, it looks fantastic. But, given the low pressure we need and the fact that nothing we're using today is flammable or explosive, I'm not too worried about it because if it gets into the air, we're outside. Like, the only hazard with this stuff really is suffocation and we're not gonna suffocate in the outdoors. The biggest issue is that this sulfur hexafluoride does have pretty high pressure and it likes to come out with pretty high pressure. And so if we don't have it reinforced enough, it might just pop our hoses off. And then we'd have to tape it all back up again. That doesn't sound fun, so. All right, we got the sulfur hexafluoride working, and now it's time to try and fill a soccer ball with it. Oh, Perfect. Oh, boy. <laughs> nice. You can hear that. This almost sounds like you're hitting like ceramic or something. Can you see that one? Absolutely. Oh my goodness. Definitely has a weight to it now, like a different weight. You think That's it's heavier? A little bit. I'm mostly just amazed at the noise. Yeah. Um, but I, you hear it too, right? Like I'm not going crazy? Oh yeah, that. these two I... That's the regular one, that's the helium one. I don't even have to like look at them, I can tell. <laughs> at this point, all three of them are registering at very close to the same PSI. Just hand me one. My eyes are closed. No listening, just feeling. No! Just feeling? Yeah. Can you feel a difference? I think this is my regular ball. I think you're right. There is the regular one. Try again. Keep testing me. This is fun. What have I got? Helium. Yes. All right, we've got the three soccer balls. We're actually going to have Mark, our cameraman, choose one of them and set it down uh, and then move the other two. So I, I actually already don't remember which is which, but just to make sure I don't know what it is as I'm kicking it, I'll kick one, put the next one down, trying to go carefully so I don't hear the sounds that it's making. Kick the next one, kick the next one. We'll kick all three. Callie will write down which one went the farthest, and then she'll throw them all back and we'll do the same thing. We'll do that five or ten times for me, then for Callie, and then also our camera and Mark is gonna take a turn. We're all just gonna kick him as far as we can and see what we learn. Here kick goes. it over my head. Yeah, I'm not that good at kicking, so here goes. Well, you hit the bush, so. That's why we're gonna do lots of tests. <laughs> 
That one hit a rock, and I know which one it is because I heard it. Okie dokie. <laughs> it's so distinct when you hit that one. Just clung. Well, I can certainly kick it farther like that. I'm still not that great at kicking. That's my five. I think we're gonna just take those results. We'll let Callie do five. We'll let Mark do five. That should give us something. All right, my turn. Nate was making fun of the fact that I was underestimating his kicks. He has way overestimated mine. I think I can kick 10 feet. We're gonna find out. Oh, see, that's not even, I didn't even really hit it. <laughs> not even getting to Nate. Don't oh, pass me, what are you talking about? Okay. Uh-oh. Well, so we each took five kicks, varied up the styles a little bit in how we were kicking. Mm -hmm. And we admit this is not the flattest field in the world. A However, rock interference here. There was a couple shots where they banked off of rocks at weird angles. However, we did still get some interesting results. We did. So out of all of them, helium still went furthest the most amount of times, eight out of 15. So not terribly conclusive because SFX got six out of 15. Leaving a hole one for the regular air. air. Only one time out of 15 did the ball with regular air go the farthest. We know that we're people, we're fallible. This is not a perfectly smooth field. I guess if we wanted a perfect test, we'd have a, a robot machine kicking for us and measuring mm -hmm. that all the PSIs were 100% identical, but it is still interesting to test. I don't know, I, I have a hard time believing that it's just the weight of the helium, like it's lighter than air, no, but I don't think it carried it No, because the anywhere. SFX still went farther than the air. That's true. And, and it's, it's heavier. way heavier mm -hmm. than air. Do you think that the sulfur hexafluoride and the helium actually are making a difference in this? Or do you think it's just luck? Is there too much randomness? Or are we really demonstrating that the helium and sulfur hexafluoride somehow go farther than the air? All right, we've got our soccer ball slash football inflated to 65 PSI with helium and it's very, very bouncy and very painful to kick. Now we're gonna see what happens if we launch a small projectile at it with our high-speed projectile launcher. Just cause, seems like fun. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Now it's not so full of helium. <laughs> Did you just nick it? No, I'm pretty sure I shot it right through. Oh, I for some reason really thought it was gonna explode. I think that's the exit hole. I think that, nope, oh, they, yeah, oh there, they, they kind of look the same. Oh, okay. It did, it went all the way through. Through Neat. one side, out the other. It's kind of hard breathing out of a soccer ball. But it's still in there. <laughs> Maybe a little bit. Awesome. Tastes like rubber. <laughs> Not a fan. All right, just cause apparently we're in a destructive mood. We're gonna see if anything happens to our regular and SFX balls as well. It's just kind of that day. I'm thinking I can get through both of them in one shot. I oh. mean, in one projectile. All right, so the one in front is SFX, and the air is right behind it. There we go. Three, two, one. I'd ask what else do you guys want to see us do with these soccer balls, but we don't have them anymore. It's not an option. 
And that was it. That's all I got out of it. Guys, that's not all. You know, we've always got more for you to see. Hit that box up at the top to... There's a bug on my nose. Guys, that's not all. You know, we've always got more for you to see. Hit that box up at the top to check out our most recent video, and we'll see you in the next one. Talk to you then.